everybody, welcome back. It's the Golden Goblet. What day? I don't know, man. Maybe this is the last one? <laughs> haven't, haven't been keeping track too well. Um, anyway, we have fun here. Um, I, I've been getting better at Spelunky 2. And I actually, believe it or not, I've been getting some good scores for the first time ever. Ladies and gentlemen, the dream may be alive. The dream of another gold besides the first day where I got a gold because I had access to the game early and knew 2% more than the other two competitors may indeed be alive. Honestly, here's the thing. Exceptional circumstances tend to regress to the mean. What do I mean by this? Well, I don't mean anything. I mean, read a book, sweetheart. What I mean is... We have been exceptionally bad. So we should regress by progressing. And get to some degree of average. At some point in the future. Hold on, don't break this. That's, that's foolhardy. Grab this instead. Do that. Okay, Monty is your next highest priority. And he is very gettable, for the record. You would need to send a rope upward, not breaking the ghost pot. You would take your time. Grab one of these. Good work. A single rope for a Monty in the early game. Oh my. That's good eats. Monty gets dropped off. I wouldn't describe this as a perfect floor. We could have done this without spending that one extra rope, but it's good enough. Certainly not the kind of thing you beat yourself up over. I'm not gonna worry about that side. All right, Torkies. Very valuable. The turkey took the damage. So here's the deal, turkey. Please come closer to this side. That's what we're looking for, so we can grab you without you taking us down here. I don't think we're going to be able to get Monty here, so you're going to have to surf suffice, okay? I did almost say surfice. Okay, which, by the way, not something you can do unless you're very, very good at surfing. Okay, good stuff. I find it helps to keep up this inane banter as long as possible. I don't think we're going to be able to get Monty. I'm just going to hit you with the, the straight and narrow on that one. What we can do, though, is get two turkeys. I have heard that this one wants to buy you flowers. That's what I said now. And the other one always tells the truth. I think we're going to have to use a rope here. I think we're going to have to use a rope here. So, do we have to use a rope? Or could, No, if we use a turkey, the turkey's going to die. Sensible. A sensible approach indeed. Okay, we're not sacking turkeys. It's just not in it's not in my wheelhouse. We're much better off delivering the turkeys to the exit and then taking our HP. Not a bad shopkeeper, by the way. Um, I really thought you'd walk off the edge. In hindsight, doesn't really make any sense. Um, what do we want here? I, I'm, I'm spendy. You already know. I'm in the fast lane. From LA to Tokyo. We use a bomb. Oh, the arrow! The arrow did not hit me. We got 2 HP. We got 7 HP. We got no money. We got 7 HP, a cape, and spiked shoes. Spike shoes, I've tried to convince myself, are, are an insanely good buy in the early game. Why? So many reasons. The, the easiest one that I can describe is that... Uh, don't let him pop out of the top. If he pops out of the top, get ready. The easiest one I can describe is that when you murder the uh, boss of the first floor with the spike shoes, you get three bombs. So why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Here, 
shop doesn't seem to have anything that I'm particularly pogged about. We will be abandoning um, the ghost pot, but taking Monty with us. Now, in a challenge of score, that might strike you as being suboptimal. So you know what? I think you're absolutely correct. We're going to use our brain instead of merely our Herculean brawn for once. Um, I, I have no idea where the Ujedi exit is. Um, I don't think we need the ropes, honestly. That's the other reason the spike shoes are sick, by the way. Um, we got plenty of time. Remember in Spelunky 1 when the ghost came out after... two minutes? Man, we were living in a different world back then. The thing is... Uh, there was a bomb in there, huh? That's why you don't mind carrying an HP balance. It wasn't just a bomb, brother. That was a super bomb. So I'm hopeful that... I, I don't think this can be the way. But I'm hopeful... That... When we go... Th In my head, I saw the possibility of that come to pass. I think that is the way. That's very surprising to me. That's a weird way to have to get there. Super fortunate that it worked this way. Because I'm like, we gotta get to the... If we want to have a, an amazing run, there's a variety of different ways we could do it. Um, but one of the easiest paths is to make it to the City of Gold. City of Gold requires Hedget, which requires Black Market, which doesn't require the Ujadi, but it's like made a lot better by the existence of the Ujadi. Okay, good work, good work. You hear the beating of drums? We, we know what's up with that. We know what's up with that. I would love to get Monty, dude. Just, just peeking. Seeing if perhaps Monty might be available over here. Apparently not. Good risk management strategy. Didn't even see the spider until it was almost too late. Got a little lucky. This time, we care not for a ghost pot. Monty? Kind of an awkward spot. Okay. We do need him to go left first. So much more confident at this than I used to be. <laughs> okay, then he comes in. Okay, he's, he's cleared out both paths. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. Free eats. Wouldn't mind sending something up there. I, Monty, I gotta be honest with you on this one. This one's not happening. Our bombs are a little bit more precious than that. I guess we don't really need to trigger the arrow trap. Oh, baby. Now, we got we got some good stuff going on here. You know, we, we have a decent chunk of change. And we have not even aggroed our shopkeeper yet. Which is both a negative and a positive. I've come to believe, personally, can't be whiffing on those jumps. Didn't get hit, but still. I've come to believe that the secret um, of the shopkeepers at my current level is uh, if the shopkeeper has things worth killing them for, kill them. Otherwise, just relax. And I think we, we were able to buy instead. So I'm gonna hit you with something interesting. I think this is worth using a rope. The bomb was a gimme, but I, I do think it's worth using a rope. I'm glad we did it. The paste is like, it's part of the infinity gauntlet, man. I don't mind fighting a bee. I will not, I mean, phrasing, I guess, but I, I will not endeavor. You're okay. To get the royal jelly? <laughs> we don't need the royal jelly. Oh, this is the way we came. 
We just need Monty. The royal jelly is a trap. Kind of want that, though. I mean, it's not a trap. It's, like, really good. But there's other ways of getting HP. So we got a minute and a half here to sort this out. Maybe don't go that way. Um, Monty. We're looking for Monty. We want to take the boomerang with us, but we're going to have to carry a body as well. Maybe, maybe multiple. More bees? Ah, it's a leprechaun. The clover. Okay, this is insanely good. <laughs> To go up this way, uh, it'll cost us a rope. You know what? That's a situation where you'd probably say we're okay spending a rope. I see the pot of gold. I'm just gonna tell you, like, the way I see this, I'm like, it's a little pricey. Like, we're, we're a little light on bombs. The altar was not up this high. So I'm definitely glad we explored over here, even though we lost... 25 HP to make it happen. I was hoping that... Because, like, you want to sack Monty last if you've already sacked some bodies to the altar. That way... Because Monty's worth a guaranteed payout. So if you can sack enough to get the payout before you sack Monty, it's a dream. There is a... I just noticed, again, there is that hired help over there. So we're not just looking for one payout. This is a double payout floor potential. It's a little exhausting. But we got plenty of time. Got plenty of time. You know what? We well, Let's just explore slightly over here. Because there, again, there might be more enemies. I don't want to waste my time that way just yet. I'd rather waste my time this way. No need for a rush, by the way. Suppose we could just go straight through the middle. But it's a little spicy. I see the pot of gold. I know it's a golden goblet, okay? I wonder what happens. Do you think you can sack the pot of gold? It's kind of like a good time to find out, but... There we go. Okay, so the Kapala is incoming, which is unbelievably huge. We got plenty of time. And by plenty, I mean just enough. The Kapala is more important for now. We <laughs> That clover, dude. That clover... And the spike shoes have paid such incredible dividends. Got a little blood. We gotta go. We got 15 seconds. Forget the secret room. Make sure the ghost spawns on the left side. Forget the pot of gold. Now all you gotta do is navigate safely. A little scary. I think it spawned right side. You gotta go. Okay. Go. Honestly, amazing work. Um, just scared of the shop right now. I <laughs> just. Um, I would love a power pack, but let's let's do this first. Hello. Okay. I mean, dude. I would love to get to the. Uh, I would love to get to the secret shop there. Then I was just thinking, and I'm like, why? And the answer is blood. <laughs> there's, There's got to be easier ways to get blood than ruining that guy's life. Make sure you don't need to get your way out of there via any tomfoolery. So this run is definitely like a success. 
We don't care about the bow that much right now, I think. It's definitely a success by Golden Goblet terms. And then... It's not a crate. The thing about success, the more the merrier, baby. Bit of a crappy moon challenge. S such a waste. I'm gonna have to use a rope. Bit of a crappy moon challenge from the perspective of uh, items. Think this will take us up to the secret shop? Yeah, but how are you gonna get up? <laughs> valid, valid. Um, that's just bad planning. Like I'll I'll own up to that, but whatever. Come on, there we go. Made some money, made some money, feeling good. Good good moon challenge at the shop. We got sixty five grand. We could murder the shopkeeper. I don't really want to do it. That's like, I mean, it immediately hurts our score. No doubt. But I don't want to murder the shopkeeper. Oh, that's huge. When we have no uh, bombs. Like, four bombs, even with the power pack, is not enough for me to feel really confident going up against them, you know? By the way, I did not get the power pack. This time, don't be dumb. Now, we need to remind us, I'm, I'm happier to have this, I wanna be clear. But we also need to make sure, that you, you've lost the cape. That carries some serious negativity alongside it. Man, I, oh, we don't care about the sacks that uh, the sack that much. But I wonder if we can get in through that maze, go under. We don't care to. Oh, but sacking Monty for the royal jelly would actually be pretty good. Just okay. Well, we're not gonna sack Monty for the royal jelly. Let's say this is one of those things you should probably think through before you do it. Like, do I really... Is this worth it for a child of the forest? I'm gonna say no. A little lucky on that. Wait, we're gonna assume that the shop was not there. And we're gonna say thank you for the HP. We're okay. Don't stick me. 9 HP. Oh, baby. What, what do you hate more? <laughs> the Witch Doctor? And all the rest. Two Witch Doctors. Okay, that's why... You want to make God laugh? Tell him your plans. We out? Don't need a torch. Got my own. It's blinking. Blinking less. Don't. Just don't. Well, we're going down this way. I feel like it's gotta be this way. <laughs> so there's our score, 46,225. What happened? Spelunky happened. Um, I, I went to jump on the monkey. He moved. And there was a man-eater directly below him. Why do I talk? Like, the the comedic timing. What did I just say? The only thing we gotta watch out for is instant deaths, because our HP is so high. So that was not the right thing to do. But it is one of those ways you die that you're like, really? <laughs> it's 
It's kind of a low percentage way to go, is I guess what I'm saying. You're alright, Monty. You're alright. Anyway, as always, we'll throw in a little... Little slice... At the end. What happened there? I thought we could get one extra golden bar. Was it worth it? You know what? It was, because it's the first floor. It's not like we really died. It was a mistake, but... You always you always get one run to untilt after the, the tilt fest. I'm, I'm just, like... I'm dying inside at, at all these deaths, dude. It's been a bad day for video games for me. Fall Guys algorithms all twisted up. Giving us Team Tail Tag 99% of the time now. Spelunky 2. Having like really, really, really good starts that in typical Spelunky fashion get erased by one mistake. The thing is, you just gotta, you gotta get over it. You just, you go through it, you get over it. Did I not get the ghost pipe? That might have been the last run. Don't pop out. Okay, okay. Alright, so what do we want to see? It's very simple. Good shop. Yeah, okay. Um, here's what I think you do. I think you buy the paste. I think you move these bomb bags in deep. I think you move the bomb box in deep. Move the ropes, like... Here? <laughs> Hello. Oh, he got out! How? I don't believe it. Well, we've still executed a great thievery. He's upset. Um, we, sh we should let him simmer for a minute. He's he's perturbed. So the dream is quite simple. You just blow him up. You take his gun. And then... The rest of the run. It's not in the bag. But we got what we wanted. Which was... A good assortment of bombs. No real you. I was literally like, what's that? <laughs> no real utility items, but some bombs for sure. Hey, more bombs. Okay. You're the. Oh, that's the key, dude. It's not, not the easiest task in the world. Uh. I, I would like that, Monty. We got a minute, okay. You can definitely... We're gonna need to use a rope at some point. You might as well use it here. And then also... No, 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 because we don't need to use it. Just chill. This run is still good. It's actually still good. You just you just come in here, you put this in, and you, you we gotta not be dumb, okay? We gotta you gotta make the right decision every time, not like ninety five percent of the time, which might even be flattering ourselves. Like we're not even gonna break any more pots in there because I'm scared all right two HP we can now survive getting touched by something still can't survive an arrow trap oh my this is only one three okay okay you know I was just gonna say you know that's a shopkeeper then uh, maybe a skull in here Yas. There you go. Good, good work. That was smart. Then check this. We might both have been triggered. Okay. Thought that was gonna hurt me. 
So I'm gonna level with you. I wanna save bombs, but simultaneously feel like we should really just blow up this turkey to get to 3 HP. Not worry too much about the whole bomb situation. Because we're clearly fine. Just get the HP. Here's the deal, brother. We want the spike shoes. I wanted him active. No, not the way we drew that one up, for the record. You know what? Starting to realize that, that one of the best things you can do for your success in this game is literally um, just toss a rope anywhere and then wait for the shopkeeper to climb it. <laughs> and, then, and then do your part from that point onward. That was a success. We spent a bomb and a rope to make that happen. That's no problem. Oh, man. I, I do, now I'm like... I think it's worth getting it. We gotta be a little fast. Uh, it's worth... Uh, we're using a rope as well. We would get the HP from the Torque, but... I don't think so. I don't think it's our play. Just wanted to see if he came to life. We gotta be real quick on this one. There's probably I mean there's a shopkeeper at the exit too, right? Unless he got murdered. And the real question is if that guy got murdered, what the heck did he get murdered by? That's that's even scarier. Oh, it's another level down too. So we, we don't have a lot of time here. Incredible. He's dead. We have 4 HP. The ghost is coming. We're not going to mess with Yang. We're just going to leave. There, there wasn't enough time in my world to think about the decision, for one. But there definitely was not enough time to uh, make an informed decision. And then also get all the values we'd like to get out of it. Alright. I'd really like to see another skeleton key in here. I wonder if, like, blasting it breaks the key. Just because I think people are going to disbelieve me. They're going to be like, you can't get a skeleton key in there. You've tried it so many times, you've never seen it. I've seen it, okay? It was just... It happened two... T it happened two times... There we go. In a three-hour stream. And then it, it's never happened since. So which way are we going to go? I feel like we want jungle redemption, quite frankly. Why are you going? I, I just want your bombs. I could shoot you and just take the turkey. Sometimes it blows up the bombs. Good stuff. Like, very, very good stuff. Okay. We're good. So, we're going to try to get some black market redemption here. It sounds like a, like a Charles Bronson movie. Yo, we killed something. Oh, I was probably like a glow bug. <laughs> now remember, be be afraid. You got shopkeepers down here. We're very much not concerned about their aggro. We just want to go. If we could go a few floors without sending them, there's there's beauty there. But for now, I think you know, expect them to be mad. I want to try something. Shooting off of a vine will send us. I've probably, I, I should apologize, I've probably tried that like 40 times. But it's, it's nice to make sure before you make a decision. Look at that. What do we got going on here? A bat. It doesn't seem like there's much going on over there. Honestly, I think we'll just leave. I think we will just leave. Jungle? Always a bit spooky. No doubt about that. I mean, especially, like, it is worth noting. We are pretty item poor. <laughs> I 
Was that no? It's Spider. Every time, dude. Every freaking time. He's gonna get aggroed. There we go. Pretty solid work, though. We do not wish to go this way. We got 20 bombs. What do I think we do on this? 20 bombs and paste. You can't cascade in this game, I think. The placement is not good either. I think you can place a bomb here. And then throw from here. You hate to spend a lot here. You could just run. Brother. Okay, finally. That was way too expensive. I suppose we could have gotten Monty pretty easily there too. And now we've reset the aggro trigger, but it is what it is. Ooh, you know? I don't know why I'm... Oh, you know why I'm not falling off? Yeah, I know why I'm not falling off. We got no time. Where was that door? I don't know. Either way, we're out. Sorry, Monty. Already spent too many resources on that floor. You end up paying the cost. Life's a bee. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. I will, I will, I will pay your charge. Did she take my gun? I'm gonna be very upset if she took my gun. I really don't know if there's a good reason not to do the moon challenge. Like 10,000 for a clover is too expensive. But even still... But what's the even still? Well, it always pays for itself. You get the clover on top of that. Maybe it doesn't always pay for itself, but it should pay for itself. You get the clover as well, which gives you more time. Now, mind you, you're probably going to use more time. But still... Well... I don't know. I don't see a good reason not to. Let me put it that way. This is breaking. I was just gonna say, any second now, that's breaking. If she took my gun, we're gonna have words. I'm not gonna say that, you know, she's gonna pay the price. I'm just gonna say we're gonna have words. <laughs> Lucky grab. Lucky grab. So we do have an altar. We'd love a Kapala. I'm just like, do we have to go through the maze of despair? No. Oh, <laughs> kind of. Just careful, careful. Bear traps. Not sweating it. Got we got tons of time. That's, that's not worth the risk. You know as well as I do, that's not worth the risk. If you play your cards right here, I think we could be in Kapala territory. We got plenty of time. Reminds me a lot, actually, of that floor. Uh, well, the video probably hasn't even gone up yet, so... Suffice it to say, it's not even a spoiler, but I had a situation that was very, very similar to this. I spent, like, three minutes sacrificing and uh, it all worked out in the end, but it, it was a big it was a big weight on the sacrifice for sure. So we'd like to sack I yeah, I see it, I see it. What happened to Monty? Monty's upstairs? Dude, thank God for the gun jump. Makes my life so much easier. 
I don't see Monty, but I believe in Monty. Nope. I bet if you sack the shopkeeper there, we'll be good to go. Don't sack yourself, for the love of God. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, I'll see you next time. See ya!